Corel Painter's Image Hose is a brush that paints with objects that can be anything from flowers and birds to abstract images. The files containing the image objects are called nozzles. Painter comes with stock nozzles and you can create your own from both photos and paintings. Here you see what it's like to paint with Painter's default nozzles. In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics for painting with the image hose. Image hose nozzles can be photographs too, and you'll see how to create them in the next bonus tutorial. This is an example from my book, Painting for Photographers. I increased the bluebell population in this photo by creating an image hose nozzle and painting. I adjusted the grain slider and painted in the background to create the illusion of bluebells in the distance. I've included on this DVD new nozzles that I created. To access them, choose the menu in the toolbox and choose Load Nozzle. Look for the folder called Image Hose and then click on a nozzle and click Open. Then you can paint with the nozzle I created. Painting with nozzles is a great way to create a painted background for photos. Here I'm painting with bonus nozzles available here on the Painting for Photographers Volume 1 Portraits DVD. After I create a background, I combine it with a portrait in Photoshop. All the steps for creating your own nozzles and creating the backgrounds in Painter and combining the figure with the background in Photoshop are included in the other two bonus tutorials here on the DVD. Nozzles can be anything including geometric and abstract shapes. With a little tweaking in Photoshop you can give any portrait a unique background. some more examples of backgrounds that I painted with the bonus nozzles. If you don't want to paint backgrounds, you can use the ones provided in TIFF format on the DVD in either Painter or Photoshop. You can use them either as they are, or you can adjust and add to them in Photoshop as you'll see in the third bonus tutorial. Here are some more examples of the nozzles that I created and that are included on the Painting for Photographers Volume 1 Portraits DVD. Now you know how to paint with Painter's Image Hose. In the next two bonus tutorials, you'll see how to create your own Image Hose nozzles and paint with them, including portrait backgrounds. You'll also see how to combine portrait subjects with painted backgrounds.